You threw petrol over your victims and then set them alight. The attacks were horrific. Having regard to all of that evidence, I am wholly satisfied that you committed both of these offences at a time when you were suffering a severe mental illness and were psychotic and that there were no other factors that led you to commit these attacks. He's not going to serve a prison sentence, but he's going to be going to a hospital, probably get served a three-course meal and have an evening cup of tea, whereas he should be in a prison, you know, facing, you know, maximum, maximum punishment, especially setting two people on fire in two main cities of the United Kingdom. You're talking about London and Birmingham. I mean, how could this happen?